Tonight's gonna be a good night. Good morning, Rams. My name is Rigo. And I'm Zell. And this is our final DM Prods video of the year. With that being said, let's start off with Senior Advice, hosted by none other than your boy Denzel. Denzel. Hello, today I'm here with Olga, Isela. The other question we have for you is what has been motivating you throughout your senior year? What has been motivating me is just being successful and just getting through high school and not having to worry about it. What motivated me um, throughout these last four years has been my family and just walking that stage. Mom and dad, they've helped me out a lot and especially my grandparents. What has been motivating me through my senior year has been my mom and my friends. Realizing that Life is unexpected and it's consistently changing, so it taught me how to just roll with the punches, be spontaneous while still being able to be somewhat prepared and to just enjoy. I feel like the, my biggest motivation for senior year has to be the, the validation from my friends because they, they kept me going through my years in high school. You know, other people may just be like, oh, I guess that's cool or whatever. That's, not, that's nothing too special, but they, they're people who really saw my potential. And so if I went down, they realized that if you told me to get back up, I went back up. They're great people and surround yourself with people that you trust. Because if you don't, well, you may just go downhill. It's, people matter in your life. Get good connections, not bad ones. And also, if you give one piece of advice to an classmate, what would it be? I would say work hard now so that later you can have fun and enjoy. But throughout that time, make sure you're making the most out of it um, because these four years go by fast and you never get them back. Pass your classes the first time. It's that easy, honestly. Don't be like other people and just wait till last minute. I'd say don't procrastinate because I do that a lot and I still do till this day. But it's something that we should just try to control because senioritis is not a joke. That thing will bring you down. Right now, I'm not on my highest, but but you know, I'm, it's already over, so at least I'm passing. Piece of advice that I would give to the underclassmen is like to never give up and do your best, and be like Daniel Fernandez, who's like behind the camera right now. <laughs> um, honestly, just have fun and make the most of it. Do something like join the sport, join yearbook whatever it might be because honestly if you just come to school like here the teachers it's gonna be boring and even if you don't graduate or whatever like at least you had fun through it you know it'd be it'd be whack if you didn't graduate and didn't have fun or is, uh, you just gotta be aggressive be be aggressive <laughs> that was a great segment what do you think um, I think it was a really nice segment, especially when Crystal mentioned about how life can be very unexpected and hard. This year's DM Migrant Program, Aviation, the Digital Film, and Pavia's Dancers got to experience the one and only Desert X. Here's a recap of Desert X created by seniors in the Digital Film Program. The Digital Film Production crew had the opportunity to work with Desert X. Mr. Ernickson handpicked five trustworthy digital film students to create a video on Gerald Clark's immersion. They teamed up with Mr. Morehead's top aviation students to capture aerial drone shots. We're supposed to go back! Yeah, we're gonna put all the things away! Oh! Oh, I thought we have. Oh! March 23rd, Desert Mirage High School students had the opportunity to go visit most of the desert art exhibitions. The first site that Desert Mirage got to visit was a monumental sculpture called Liquid of Place that represents water in our bodies and desert.
our next stop, Immersion by Gerald Clark. A university professor, cowboy, and Kauia tribal leader created a monumental sculpture, the Game Board in the Desert, represents the natural and cultural history of Native Americans in the Coachella Valley. Finally, we ended our visit with Namagna's Arts Desires Project, a sculpture and a sound piece that explores ideas around outer space and natural environments. On May 7th, the production team were invited to a special reception at the Marx Arts Center at College of the Desert. The production crew that produced the Gerald Clark videos received awards and got to see their final videos in the gallery screening room. The videos are open to the public and are on display through May 19th. That was a really great segment. Desert yeah. X looks like a really fun event, don't you think? It sure does. Yeah. Hopefully we get to go next year. And to end the show this year is a recap of all the memories made by the class of 2023. Hope you enjoy. Mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was seven years old What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
It was a big, big world But we thought we were bigger Pushing each other to the limits We were learning quicker By eleven, smoking herb And drinking burning liquor Never rich, so we were out To make that steady figure Once I was eleven years old My daddy told me Go get yourself a wife Or you'll be lonely Once I was eleven years old And you let her go. 